Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to World of Warcraft Legion. And as you can see, we are at the site of the Forsaken Shipwreck. And that means that Looper Allen, who is right there, this Worgen gentleman, um, needs our help. Now, since we're dealing with pirate ships and things of that nature, I've got Smee here in the appropriate headwear. So let's see what Looper needs. Alright then, what have we here? Do you know what ship this is? It's the Queen's Reprisal. Queen, as in the Banshee Queen, Sylvanus Windrunner. If the farmstead weren't stuck or weren't sunk under the waves, I'd be heading home to Gilneas right about now. The Forsaken and the Worgen do not get along. I don't care what you do, mate. But if you get caught, you didn't see me. I wasn't here. Locate the captain's chest below decks on the Queen's Reprisal. Holy oh, crap, it's a convention. A coin, and you brought crab people. <laughs> that was sudden. Well, let's go ahead and avoid that, because it's not our fight. And we will just head over here. Pretty as you please. Now, um, our class mission has been completed, and we also have some mail from, the ship. from uh, actually one of my mains. I made some really nifty armor for Sully to use once he gets high up in levels. Need to go pick that up. And it looks like everything that we need is right up here. I'm kind of curious because we have, it looks like we have a special encounter as well as our quest objective. And yes indeed. Well there's a bag right there, that's a little too suspicious. If I was a class objective, where would, or not a class objective, but if I was a quest of, oh, I hear fighting. Is it up on the deck? Oh, Chief Bitterbrine. Looks like he just spawned. Let's see if we can get over there real quick and at least tag him. Oh, he's down in the hold hold of the ship. I see he is way down here. Can we make it? Just need to get him in gun range. Easy. Got him. And we're at least here to pick up the spoils, which any good pirate is want to do. Woo! Lord of the Tides curse you, Torin. Yeah, Torin. How could you? Now let's uh, go ahead and look at the. Brief history of the Aeons, gain 75 artifact power, and Bitter Brine's Ring, 705. I think that's an upgrade for us. Let's see. What do we got here? 709 and 700. So, let's get a nice little new ring up there. Amongst the moldering remains of the chest, you find the captain's log. Its pages are particularly in, are partially intact, and it contains interesting information about the possible whereabouts of Queen Sylvanus Windrunner, the new war chief of the Horde. So where who, would I want to give this to anyone? This is the kind of intelligence that should be shared. Perhaps someone at the Windrunner Sanctuary on Dalaran will know what to do with it. Take the captain's log to advisor Stillwater at the Windrunner Sanctuary on Dalaran. Okay. Okay, hi there, Chief. Um, we'll just go, I know you're upset. So we'll just vanish and leave you to it. Now, one thing that they've changed over the course of the last few expansions is um, lung capacity here on Azeroth is at an all-time high. You can uh, swim for a long, long time without having to come up for air. Forsaken even more so, since they're dead. So we need to head to Dalaran to turn in that quest. Uh, let's go ahead and turn in our little salvage job here. And then we'll head to Dalaran because we need to do that anyway. And kill two birds with one stone. He's still over here, isn't he? Some more Forsaken Sailors. And we're just going to ride through all of this. And not even worry about it. Hopefully, at least. 
Looks like a lot of people have been questing this morning. Everything seems to be relatively cleared out of NPCs. Yep, looks good. By the way, I hope all you guys had an awesome Labor Day um, weekend. I know people are getting back to uh, school and class or school and work and all that stuff today. So, hope you guys had a good time hanging out with family or barbecuing or whatever it is you guys do to celebrate that time. Over here. No, you go away. Here it go. Back to Shackles Den. Okay, Mr. Shackle, you should like this. I supply only the finest goods. What? A jailer demon, you say? Ooblin? What a ghastly name. No wonder we couldn't become trade partners with him. Oh, if only I'd known, there wouldn't have been any need for such slaughter. Oh well, live and learn. Six ninety-nine. Nothing that we need. Safe travels. And looks like our business with Mr. Shackle is now concluded. So let's go ahead and fly up there to Dalaran. You can see its shadow there in the distance. And we'll see what we can uh, do about letting people know about Sylvanas. So we're here in Dalaran now. We've got a new quest from Mama Diggs, the mining trainer. That is an amazing name. The High Mountain Tauren. You brought me an interesting rocks to look at, Swindle Gear. I've got a special assignment for you, if you're up for it. I hear stories about these Torin up in High Mountain who claim mastery over mining. I don't know if they're as talented as you or me, but they've been mining laystone longer. Pay them a visit, see what they have to say. Report to Ronos Ironhorn in High Mountain. Now, that is going to be not for quite some time, because I don't know what our next zone's going to be after we clear Asuna. But we also need to go ahead and let our friends in the Horde know about Sylvana's whereabouts. So let's go ahead and travel up here. This is Windrunner Sanctuary. This is the Horde District. And there we go. Oh, it's a command center. That's awesome. Advisor Stillwater. I'm listening. The advisor looks down at you at what you're offering her and then looks around nervously, straining to give you a rictus grin. She continues in hushed tones. Do you know what you have here? You've kept the Alliance from getting their grubby little hands on some rather delicate information. I will see to it personally that this is safely filed away. Now yeah, we get a choice between a cape or a chess piece. Now our current chess piece is 715. This is 713, so the new cape is definitely going to be... Yeah. Keep all of this between you and me, Rogue. As they say, loose lips sink ships. Doesn't Swindle Gear know it? So, got some artifact power. That's always good. Get ourselves a new cape. Despite the fact that Swindle Gear is of the piratey nature, I don't really like him wearing capes. No capes! We also got some muck-covered shoes from that salvage run. Freebooters Captain's Boots. Oh! Aw. They're, uh, slightly lower than what we currently have on. That's unfortunate. Now, we still have... What else do we still have here? Oh, yeah, we gotta head over to, uh, the rogue area and look at the board. Ah, look at all my fellow scoundrels and ne'er-do-wells. And it's been very busy on the server this morning. It usually isn't the case. But it's a good thing. It means a lot of people are playing the game. Everyone's enjoying themselves. Good job, Vanessa. And look, they gain XP as well. And the Gang of Bandits, they lose one of their lives because uh, we use them as cannon fodder. And now we have Windstone Wolf. Who will uh, teach us some new stuff, maybe? Hopefully. Now, we don't have any more missions. Let's go ahead and talk to Nikki. Phew! Nikki wipes her brow with a sense of relief. Whatever we offered him, I'm glad he was agreeable. I can tell you, if he wasn't happy, I'd be on the first flight off this rock for sure. Now, if anyone can prove the way things run around here, it's Winston Wolf. I tell you, the man is a miracle worker. 
Now that he's working for us, shall we pick his brain and see what he suggests? Speak to Winstone Wolf, we'll get 300 artifact power. Nice. And 500 order resources. Good luck, boss. And we have no available stuff here, unfortunately. To do is Winston in the... Ah, of course he is. Down here in the command area, because why wouldn't he be? See, he looks like a very nondescript gentleman, and those are the ones you have to look out for the most. King's honor, friend. Now, with Winston, we can, or, or Winstone, we can choose to have um, research some stuff that is actually going to buff our order hall. We have Lucky Streak, increases the chance for quest rewards to get a rare or epic bonus upgrade from your non-repeatable quests, which is pretty cool. And then we have Sneak Attack. Enables the Sneak Attack ability, which increases the success, success chance of the first mission you send each day by 20%. That's kind of cool, but man, I don't know. Epic bonus upgrade from non-repeatable quest. Now, is there anything... Assassination ability for all missions, work orders. I think this is all... Uh, I kind of think that that's for... Um, for us, but that's actually not the case. This is just, just for missions. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and use the sneak attack ability. That's going to take two hours. An excellent choice. I will see to it that it gets done. Good to be working with a professional such as yourself, Swindle Gear. Be careful. Mm-hmm. All right, Lord Ravenholt. You have my ear. Things are already looking up, but of course, in my experience, there's always some amount of bad to temper the good. What's that all? A body of evidence. There's an urgent matter that requires your attention, Swindlegear. The body of a woman with a knife in her back is turned up in the sewers. Normally, such a matter would be less than newsworthy, but this isn't your average cutthroat. It's an SI-7 operative. Um, that's essentially kind of uh, like MI6 for the Alliance. It's They're human, but they're actually really good. Now, I've got some of our goons guarding the body, but you had better get over there before the word spreads. If SI-7 finds out about this, it'll be bad for business. Investigate the body of the SI-7 operative for clues. All according to... Sounds good. Now, heading in the sewers is a very laggy proposition. Um, unfortunately, because a lot of people are down there doing PvP right now. And it can get very, very choppy. But, for those of you guys who haven't seen the sewers, I'd be remiss if I didn't show you. So, let's go ahead and see if the computer can handle the lag. Oh, okay, never mind. The body is right here. She obviously dead, you idiot! You saw she's dead. Maybe she's sleeping. She ain't sleeping, you dummy. She got a knife in her back. Why is she trying to sleep with a knife in her back? Hmm, face palm. Okay. Well. Milton Beats, he's sitting here. He probably saw everything, but he's not talking. So investigate the scene. And looks like we have a envelope here. SI7 missive. All right. Was that it? Was that I guess so. All right. Can we actually look at the missive? It's not showing up on the inventory, so I guess not. Maybe it's for uh, Ravenholt's eyes only. I wonder who put the knife in the back. Well, the suspect list is uh, pretty large, as you can tell. Alright, boss. I got it for you. The shadows call. Did you identify the body? Was it an SI-7 operative? So it's true. An SI-7 agent was assassinated in our own backyard. If SI-7 links us to the murder, this will be bad for business. We'll need to get to the bottom of this sooner rather than later. 
SI7 is the espionage and intel branch of the Alliance. They're based out of Stormwind City and headed up by Master Matthias Shaw. As of late, they've been acting, shall we say, peculiar. I would like for you to send some of our people out to assess the situation. It might be nothing, but I'm fond of situations that I- or I'm not fond of situations that I do not fully understand. If we're going to win this war against the Burning Legion, the last thing we need is for something wholly unexpected to occur. Use the scouting map and complete the mission Spy vs. Spy. Until Find out what SI7 is up to. We can ill afford to have unknown variables at this stage of the game. Agreed. So we're kind of like a mercenary version of Spectre from the Bond movies. So we go over here to the mission board. And there's Spy vs. Spy. It's a three follower mission. Which, it works because we have three I followers. No one. Now, the Gang of Beasts, or Gang of Bandits, Gang of Beasts, put that up to 90. But I don't like that because I've actually had missions fail with the 90% chance. So, we'll throw Vanessa in there to make it 101. And that'll be done in an hour, and we'll see how that goes maybe in the next episode. But we still got some stuff to do now. Is there anything else here in Dalaran that we need to do? Not... doesn't look like it. Mining, engineering... Awesome. So, we can go ahead and head back to Asana, and I'll see you guys there. So, we are back on track now here in Asana, and we are heading toward the Missing Demon quest. Speak with Daglop in the Olivian Vale. And we're relatively close to where we were before, just a little bit more inland. And this looks like a little quest hub that we're heading into. Oh, he's an imp. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no master send you. I get it. I have to deal with my former master first. Hey there. You seem like a gullible I am, uh, intelligent type. I propose a deal. I need a minion to be my muscle to help me acquire a few special ingredients for ritual. In exchange, I'll give you my former master to do with whatever you demon slain types do with demons. If you're interested, just sign here. In blood, please. Ooh, yeah, nothing ever bad happened there. So, what's going on over here? Oh, you're killing a crane. Well, that makes sense, I suppose. So, what do we need to do here? Oh, waiting to sign the contract. Well, fine. What could go oh, yeah, read contract. Thank you. The contract starts with a large following or flowing vile looking script that with each sentence gets smaller and smaller in its lettering. It begins, I, the undersigned, hereafter referred to as the second party, do solemnly swear and agree to the terms set forth by Daglop Ravaliash Driscoll Blot. Um, hereafter referred to as Daglop. These terms include the acquisition of materials required for the ritual of Sharazan, hereafter referred to as the Gig, and any extermination, elimination, assassination, or murderation of subjects, living or otherwise, that resist the aforementioned assets required by the Gig and Daglop. In exchange, Daglop agrees to provide the second party with a physically intangible source of fell-based energy for the infusing of one artifact of great power in said second party's possession, hereafter referred to as the reward. Upon completion of the gig, the aforementioned reward intended for the second party must be provided through direct source extraction from the third party, role to be filled by the target of... The lettering becomes so small at this point, the words are effectively unreadable by mortal eyes. Alright, fine. At last, a minion of my very own. Per your contract, you will help me gather supplies for a perfectly harmless ritual. I need feathers and horns. Lots of horns. See those shadow runners, prowlers, and heron over there in the Olivian Vale? They should have lots of both. Oh, and I need olives. Lots of olives. One for each finger. Minion, let's ride. Fulfill your part of the deal with Daglop. So we need olives? Oh lord, we've got an imp on our shoulders. So help me if you say anything Yoda related. <laughs> Anger, fear, aggression, the dark side are they. Fistful of feathers. 
This is going to be an annoying mission, I can already tell. I'm waiting. Nora Blackfire is casting Frost, Velfrost Death Blast. Okay. That's nice. That must be something a little bit farther away. That just kind of goes out to everyone. Just like, just so you know, something really bad's about to happen. Check this out. It's lion, like, griffin lion things. They're pretty. I know for a fact that druids um, can find an item that actually turns this as into one of her they can become this in one of their shape-shifting forms which is pretty cool oh we're getting help from a panda that's nice thank you panda and you're a skinner as well so that helps I'm out of range. let's go ahead and help out this hunter who's this oh that looks like an awesome horse wonder if we can grab one of those for a mount Hopefully you'd be able to, like, later in the game. Ah, there's the olives. I was wondering if we were going to have to, like, go to, uh, like, Dalaran or somewhere with a bar and actually get some gin olives. Or martini olives, you, get, you guys know. You guys know. Not a big martini drinker myself. Um, I've had them before. I don't think it's necessarily that I dislike them. It's just I haven't had a whole lot of uh, opportunity to enjoy them regularly. I think they're very salty. Um, what with the olives and it, depending if you like have them very dry. I did like the ones that I had though. But they are a little bit pricey if you want to um, order them at any particular type of bar. And when you're, like, going to the store to grab stuff, stuff for a martini might be the last thing on your list of objectives. At least you have your priorities straight. Okay, one olive for each of finger. Excellent. Those took a strange turn. We were investigating a murder one moment, and now we've got a, uh, demon on our shoulders the next. Or we did, until we mounted. Oh, there he goes. He just jumped back on. We couldn't buck him off, apparently. Now, we should almost be done. Holy crap, I hit him twice, but it looked like I hit him for like 17 million. Yes, yes! Darkish feathers for darkish purpose. And Shadowhorn. Actually, I think this might be the last one that we need. Yes, indeed. Let's sap the horse. I always feel actually kind of bad um, doing any kind of violence to a horse, demonic or otherwise. I used to work at a horse race track, and to see how the horses were treated, man, it was a sad thing. Yes, yes, good. The pow the cursed power that flows in these horns is invaluable to any evil, uh, morally ambiguous ritual. This land is ripe for the taking, especially the olives. They're really ripe, and I love ripe olives. Mm -hmm. Olives, I love these things. They're the only reason worth to come to this filthy world. Maybe we get Sargeras like an olive, uh, an olive branch. <laughs> Oi. To perform my ritual, I needed to use a special cave I prepared for at Gloombound Barrow. Meet me there and I will give you your reward. <laughs> Help Daglop complete his ritual. Copy of Daglop's contract. And Daglop's precious. Gain 20 artifact power. Meet me at the ritual site for your reward. He's going to turn into a really big demon and attempt to kill us, isn't he? We've given him all the things for him to go into Super Saiyan mode. Now, I believe he's going to be in a cave down here on the coast. If the radar... Oh yeah, Demonic Chains? This is definitely the place. Oh, and Daglop's fighting him. 
Well then. Whoop. And we're going to have some assistance from an alliance mage. I think. Ooker, Duker, Pirate, Guardian. Huh. That's cool. You have a pirate bodyguard, Mr. Warlock. Excuse me. Not a mage. Warlock. There is a difference between the two. Actually, I have to check that out here in a second to confirm or deny. Oh, yeah, that's a warlock. <laughs> you failed, master. Who's the master now? Hmm? Where did you go? Well, oh, there's a unique thing up here, too. Guess we may check and see what that is before we call it an episode. But first, let's go ahead and talk to our little demon friend and see if we haven't created, like, a new supervillain. Because that's never a good thing. Great deal, right? You got to kill a demon, your fancy weapon got more fancy, and I get to be the master now. Everybody wins. Alright, well then. Let's see what that toy is. Okay, we gained 20 artifact power. And the blood glows from time to time, allowing you to call... No, request that Master Daglot pay you a visit. Uh-huh. Well, we may do that a little bit later. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and head to that uh, unique... Oh, that is a lot of stuff. Nightborn Foe Hunter. Now, I would assume there's probably like a quest hub to send us over in this direction. But, uh, oh! <laughs> Someone saw a sap. But if we go ahead and kill the rare spawn, or whatever this is, this just one last less thing we have to do. I want to check your pockets. The Broken Isles is definitely broke. What is this interruption? Siphonus, deal with these mortals. No witnesses. Hi, Siphonus. I don't know if you can see me or not. And you're an invalid target. Oh, I bet you hurt, don't you? You, you have that look about you. Of something that would hurt. Well, let's uh, summon the cannons. Just for some added DPS there. Go ahead and pop our heal. Remember, it's all about, uh... Was it my dad used... My mom used to say, um... Prior prevention prevents poor performance. And my dad would add on that and say, Prior prevention prevents piss poor performance. So, both are very accurate. Depending on your, uh, situation. So, let's keep on throwing the hurt down. Oh, our buff went away. Oops. There we go. That's what we're needing. And we don't have any help from anyone else seeing this on their radar. Boot. No power explosion for you. Whatever that is. Aha! Eh, and some order resources. Not too bad. Alright guys, well, that seems like a good place to go ahead and end it. We'll stay stealthed here, just in case. But when we get back, we will go ahead and continue. I think, I don't think we'll hit here yet. We're going to head back here and locate the Night Watcher Idri in the Drowned Gardens and go from there. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone. <laughs>